obviously, you know, we're not going to agree because obviously you seem to be thinking that, you know, sexism and racism and transphobia now are fine. You piece of f***ing shit. Well, Bob, are you a groomer? What the you, hell? Man, you what know the that's actually a sign of desperation. You like, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Around, man. Okay. It's a sign of desperation. Why, wait, wait, why did you just get angry? Wait, why did you, wait, why did you, wait, why did you Because, because you angry. know what that signals to your audience, and it's complete bullshit. Oh, oh so maybe that's why oh, Adam got angry oh, when you said he was like a racist. Someone gets it now. Someone figured it out. Dude, he just said he he was racist, dude? He literally just said he was racist. That's what Bob said. The concept of whiteness means that, you know, white people are inherently racist. And in our society, racism is obviously whoa, whoa. evil. Wait, the concept of whiteness is inherently racist? What What is this? No, I've the concept never of, heard this The before. concept of whiteness means that white people are inherently racist. So it basically creates a stereotype of white people that they are racist. And I, I hope you agree that in our society, being labeled a racist is a terrible thing. Um, it is. I mean, it can be a terrible thing, sure. But I think, did you say the word evil a minute ago? Um, that's something that I've, I've I know, addressed. With, I didn't, uh, no, I didn't say evil. I said... Okay. I'm, I misunderstood then. But I mean, I, well, I have talked to race, some race, I said racism is evil. Yes. Do we right. disagree on that? Uh, yeah, I disagree that racism is evil. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I, I, I've talked about I, this okay. before. Like, you know, bigotry, racism, all these things are just collection of biases. For example, I grew up in the Deep South mm -hmm. uh, in a very, again, racist culture. Uh, mm -hmm. Where like the N words thrown around in my household pretty you know regularly and stuff. Um, I had some pretty cringe views and and uh, it's definitely said racist shit in the past. If if racism was evil, then I would just be forever evil and there's nothing I can do about it. But no, it's a collection of biases that once you become aware of them and you can you go oh shit I you know didn't have the the frame of reference or context to understand things from this point of view. I can work on that and and you know it really is just a matter of self improvement. Um, that's, well, that's I, I, you know, I think people can can be racist and then you know get past it and then not be racist. I said racism itself is evil. Oh, so, I absolutely. You know. Acting on look, it depends on if we're talking about a like if I held a bunch of views on race uh, being racist, which I did, and I never acted on them. Then I mean, it was just me having some shitty thoughts in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I were to act on them, or if somebody were just to explain to me, hey, this is actually, uh, you know, these types of things are, are uh, uh, harmful, just to, uh, to people that you, you don't understand their lived experience, then I continued to do it. And even more so if I just like arrogantly remained ignorant and just defiant against that information. Yeah, it'd be kind of shitty of me. And it's, I just think evil is a word that, that throws this whole thing out of whack and, you know, puts some kind of metaphysical mm -hmm. judgment on it that's not quantifiable. And we well, should just... Right. Mm -hmm. You just mean, Adam, when you say evil, you just mean it's an immoral action. Yeah, it's something that you shouldn't do. It's wrong. Right. Is it okay? Like, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what society should do about racism. Like, is it okay to be friends with a racist or a transphobe or... We would like, have we to should decide, just like, shun like, them? Yeah. Okay, so listen, I am friends I, with I am friends with racists, right? Okay. I'll put it that way. How dare you? Right, mm -hmm. you cancel okay. me, right? You guys gonna yeah. cancel me? Or, I'm no? going to. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not. In, I'm not in but favor what I mean of cancel by that culture, is, and I've heard you don't even think cancel culture exists. So I don't see how we would cancel you. I think it doesn't exist to the degree like it's it's just so ne like nebulous that it, it's the just like woke the term has become a catch all for you know basically like oh you you fucking said something that criticized me and now you're like that's it's a way to avoid criticism in a lot of cases well no i, I uh, was asking specifically about um how to deal how how should society deal with the problem of racism you're saying it's okay to be friends with racists so shunning them uh you know saying nobody yeah. should be friends with them is not acceptable mm -hmm. like well, what? Let, me get, let me give you a couple of examples please okay uh, if i i am friends with people who hold some racist notions right mm -hmm. if they said them to me uh it, and sometimes it comes out I would be like, dude, no, here's why that's, you know, and then we're friends. So they will listen sometimes, a couple of, you know, every once in a while they'll learn something and try to work on it uh, because it's the essentializing is the main difference. Like I'm not going to, I'm not calling them racist as in like they're evil, terrible okay. people. I'm saying they hold some racist notions. Uh, I do think, like I said at the beginning, that a lot of the ways that people go about, you know, just essentializing it on both sides is, is unproductive to say the least.
uh, and so, creates a lot of fucking so discord we, that doesn't so, exist. So but, shunning shunning them is not something you're in favor of. So what? Well, is, I was going to give you another example. Okay. So if I have a friend who just comes out and says, you know, I, I think whatever race or whatever is just genetically inferior, and, and yeah, man, I'm going to fucking not be friends with that guy because mm -hmm. that's like just for one thing, it's not rooted in anything factual. Um, you know, it's it's scientifically bunk and and uh, yeah. Okay, so, and it's morally bunk as well. So you're so you're saying uh, the level of racism determines whether or not you're going to shun somebody. So I, I guess like some mild racism you're tolerant of, but if I, somebody I think, I disagree is disagree with the, the ways you're describing it. It's yeah, not a no, level this of racism. It is a, a how deeply rooted, how worth my time is it to be friends with this person? Can what? I maybe get them to understand things in a different way? And and are they just committed to being a fucking ignorant piece of shit? And in that case shun them is also another loaded word because you know no there's plenty of places that guy can go to have buddies and, and good friends you you pick, uh, so shunning you pick from your society words. isn't really look you what? you pick your i'm i'm the question i'm asking question three how should society respond to racism sexism and transphobia you mm -hmm. i mean i'm just i'm throwing words out because you're not really giving us anything to go off of like it you, is a broad are, question that, that you are making you are making so, videos and you are accusing people of being sexist. You are accusing people of being racist. You are you, like you just did a debate with Eric July and you accused him of being a racist. I'm yeah. trying to figure out if you call somebody a racist, what am I supposed to infer that you mean by that? Do you mean that that person should be ostracized from society, that they should lose their job? Do you think they should get a slap on the wrist? Do you think so, they should get yeah. a, a, a stern talking to by their mother? I will give you a 100% optimal best answer. So racism, sexism, transphobia, these are largely just like behaviors. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like you could argue maybe a person would qualify under those things if they have a lot of these behaviors. But in general, you're just talking about random behaviors a person might have. The optimal situation, if somebody like, you know, says something racist, you know, somebody pulls aside and said, hey, you know, maybe you should think about this. Versus goes, yeah, I think you're right. And that's it. Well, what if they disagree with you? What if what they've done? I mean, is, we can have a, a, a debate as or discussion. I mean, it, it kind of depends. Like if if they're really like, it, it all depends on the infraction too. These are all very nuanced things. The, the like the main goal is just to point out, hey, this is a problem. Okay, so you you don't think any harsher punishment should be levied? Just a friend should take them aside and say. Look, it's not cool well, for you to do that. That's what that's what you're. Well, I mean, there, there's you're, you're lots jumping of around, man. You're layers. jumping back and forth between yeah. how would you handle it versus how what you know punishment well, look, society I, handle it. Like, which mm -hmm. what are we talking about? Give us well, an example. Wait, wait a second here. I can ask you your opinion about how society should handle it. I mean, I'm sure you could give me both, right? I'm not going to say that I'm an expert on how exactly all of the ways society should handle it. I so don't you think don't any one have person a, you, should answer so you that. Don't have I don't think any on one it, person though. should answer that in, in any kind of like just, you know, in a debate format mm -hmm. where it's like, here's a quick answer on how, yeah, this is how we solve it, guys. I think that's yeah, too much. It doesn't have to be a quick answer. You can talk as long as you want. Yeah. I think it, it's going to take a lot of time and, and there's there's we're still in the process of learning how to communicate these mm -hmm. ideas of like trying to get people to understand that, you know, this is, uh, you know, Actually, do, do you think okay, well, maybe wrong. maybe here's a way to to, to phrase it because we're trying to get specifics and I, I feel like we're not getting them. I know so you like, are. You're if, trying to get specifics so that you can kind of create a, a point to argue against. Yeah, it's a very broad that. question. No, I'm trying just, to get we're trying, trying to, to understand. To, we're, you we're trying do this to, all the time in videos. Well, we just you know, want to understand it. It's interesting that so much of this is about you know what is a cancel culture versus accountability culture, and I guess that's really what we're oh. trying to hone in on here. Like for example. Like if you, you know, if, if both of you, if either of you, you know, you say, oh, you know, uh, Rags is a horrible racist sexist, right? And you make a video, you know, accusing him of being a racist sexist. And then someone at YouTube says, oh my God, I watched, you know, uh, Dane and Bob's video. And I think this dog is very racist and sexist. And he gets booted from YouTube. Is that like, is that a good thing? Or you say, wow, I didn't mean for that to happen. That's a bad thing. Yeah. It's a great question. Yeah, it's a good question. I, I'd have to think about it, honestly. That is a good question. Yeah. Well, I, I have, you, you, so why let, don't you think about me, it before you make the video? Why are you thinking about it now? Well, I, have you guys been canceled before? Uh, I mean, uh, not yet. no, not yet. Oh. So. Well, I mean, you know, I've seen some of the associations you've got, uh, at least Adam. I don't know much about you. So I would, I would think that some of the people and, uh, you know, 
positions I, I'm sure you've defended or at least, you know, advocated. You know nothing not about against. any of our positions. <laughs> Come well, I know on. that you. I know you that you know at one point. I, mean, were cool. I know that at one point. I <laughs> you know that at know one point nothing. you were cool with Look, what's my uh, position yeah, on voting? Well, one position. What's my position that's not on what I'm voting? Saying. You hey, can't ask that you question. Want, no we, one understands. We, we want to let me talk. Are you afraid of letting me talk? No. Huh? Go ahead. You have the floor. I know you that have the you early on in my Look, channel, I promise whenever I, won't I had interrupt. like a couple of hundred subscribers and I made a video about Ethan Van Skyver, you showed up to fucking talk shit in my comments about that. So Ethan Van Skyver, who has, you know, let's just say a few problematic views, you were willing to defend him. Uh, well, and Ethan, you Van, been Ethan Van Skyver is like a sexist and I don't think there's anything wrong with being a sexist. There's far because... more going on with Wait, Ethan Wait, there's nothing wrong with being a sexist? No, of course there's, not. So, so you why think you've been canceled, Adam? Oh why haven't God. you been canceled? <laughs> why haven't I been canceled? I, right. I guess. You just said I there's mean, nothing wrong with sexism. Why haven't you been canceled, Adam? Luck. We're not popular enough to be canceled. I think oh, that's yeah. the okay. answer to the gotcha. question. Mm -hmm. Ethan, okay. Ethan has Ethan has very much been canceled. Has he not? He's making Ethan, a lot of money. He's got a whole. Ethan, thing he's making going on millions. He's making on yeah, but he lost. He lost his comics that he hasn't even gotten out yet. He lost his job at Marvel though. Because he, you think he was entitled he's... to keep that job? Wait, 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 wait! Stop. Okay, no yeah. one is. We're supposed okay, to be listen. doing closing statements. Uh, so first of all, wait, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. We have to address this. Okay, unless you're suddenly going to say I am a super conservative libertarian, no one is suggesting that anyone's entitled to a job anywhere. That's not what anyone is talking about. The question is, should social pressure be levied against people to get them fired for from I their think jobs? That each is okay? a case it's by not case a question basis. of being entitled. I think that each is a somewhere. case by case basis. Ethan in his was case, fired he had for voting several, for Trump. Several, several, several times that he had said some really. Wow, funny Ethan no was way. fired was for fired voting for, for Trump. Trump. No, he That's wasn't. That's a story. fucking bullshit. He was That's fired bullshit, for being dude. an asshole. That's was complete fired. bullshit. You can look at the track record of the things that he said uh, and was probably reprimanded for. Do you privately think people should be fired for voting for Trump? Fired him. What? No, of course not. Okay. No, he wasn't fired for voting for Trump. There's lots of fucking Trump voters and Republicans that work in comics, man. Bob, I I, Dan and I both interrupted your closing statement. So, uh, Bob, <laughs> sorry, Bob, <laughs> we'll give it back to you. Well, you know, I essentially my my point is to like, you know, and it it, it started out very simply, you know, these guys are very bad critics. They're pushing the wrong ideas, uh, and I don't like the idea that when people want to look up nerd culture stuff, they get these ideas. Um, and obviously, you know, we're not going to agree because obviously you seem to be thinking that, you know, sexism and racism and transphobia now are fine. I said then, sexism, you, know, you piece of fucking shit. You so, piece so, well, of sexism, fucking shit. So sex, so sexism is fine, but the other stuff isn't. Why are you so now, triggered, Adam? Look, Was I it listen. something I said, Adam? Don't take it out on Bob, listen, dude. I'm the one that said it. Yeah. You right. know, when I have liars on the show, when I have oh. bad faith people <laughs> oh. on the show, I tend to get a little triggered, okay? Projecting okay, much, so, huh? You project look, you're look cool sexism, I said in the you're, very you're beginning cool of the day. Adam, look, your look, entire look. fucking online presence is bad faith, dude. That, you're all of it. And I knew that going into it. We knew that going into it. And and honestly, how is, wait, how is how is his we, presence bad faith online? We we had I'd, we had a simple disagreement. Count it all. Just trust okay. me that I've looked into I'll, it. Man. I'll, like, I it's will, pretty I obvious. Will, we, we, obviously, of yours, what obviously, we believe you. Okay, we Anybody had a very a we had a very vocal about, disagreement Adam. at the beginning of the show. Why have you been canceled? Me calling something evil. What did I call evil? If you're sexist, why why haven't you been canceled? Please, please turn your brains on. We've had a two-hour oh, okay. discussion. Obviously, I said in the beginning of the thing, in the very beginning of the debate, I said, please, anyone remember? Uh, you said racism was evil. Racism yeah, is remember. evil, right? Yeah. That's what okay. you said. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, Bob, But you think sexism is uh, Bob, fine? Well, Bob, are you a groomer? What the do you, hell? Do what you the groom? Fuck does that mean? Man, you what know that's fuck? honestly a sign of desperation. You like, no, 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 wait, 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 around, man. Okay. It's a sign of desperation. Why, wait, why did you just get angry? Wait, why did you? Wait, why did you? Wait, why did you because both because just get you angry? know what that signals to your audience, and it's complete bullshit. Oh, oh so maybe that's why oh, Adam got angry. Oh, <laughs> you said he was like a racist. Someone gets it. Who said he was racist? Someone figured it out. Dude, he just said he said he was racist. He literally you just said, said he's Bob, sexism. Bob, that's what Bob said. Bob no, just said he was totally just fine with he's racism. Cool with sexism. Literally. No, you said I was fine with uh, sexism, racism, and transphobia. You said you were fine with racism. Usually all goes it's together. reasonable to assume that Does if you're anti-woke and sexism is considered oh a thing God. that's, you know, okay. then you would... 
Oops. You're Bob, so bad Bob, faith, it's Bob, disgusting, dude. Bob, you are you yeah, like human it's, garbage. It's, you guys are fucking bad. trash. It, Bob, right. thank you. You Bob. can fuck off, you... <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking disgusting. Would you like to finish your miracles? You're almost yeah, without, worse than anti woke people. Like the, the you're without almost worse calling than anyone because you at least, racist, at least would they're you like open. to finish your uh, closing statement? Wait, 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 statement. wait. Why are you? I don't, I'm so confused as to why you're so incredibly triggered, Dane. I'm because wait, because he's fucking triggered? Adam called my friend Have a you piece heard of Adam? shit, dude. I mean, That's why I got okay, mad when Adam enough. called my friend. Yeah, he calls you. Okay, shit. I understand. That's fine. Okay. It, Do you want to finish? It, it, it triggers people. Things. I know. Like, right. I understand. So Look, you want to finish like, your racism uh, is evil. Let me just make that clear here. I don't like racism. racism. Is evil. I don't like being called a racist. I don't like racists. Okay. Right. I don't mm -hmm. like racists on the show. I don't like to debate racists. Okay. So uh, please finish your closing statement, Bob. Okay, but but let me just get you on the record right now. You're okay with sexism? Mm -hmm. I, sexism is fine. Yes. I'm, I have no problem with sexism. Okay, I, I uh, and you hold yeah. on. You were equating so, uh, geez. earlier. Harvey Weinstein was equated with being sexist, right? Look, mm -hmm. look just, now, just you're, now you're going to say, uh, are you, are because you, I, I are you because I mean, what's happening with this sexism thing? Well, I just I feel like you know, mm -hmm. uh, what when these guys say sexist, what they mean right. is like sexist jokes. Like mm. make oh, is that what we mean? Jokes is that what we show. mean? Yeah, no, that's not what is I that mean what at all. we mean specifically? Because okay, you know so that earlier in this mean? conversation, you asked both of us. You said, "Do we believe that men and women should be treated the same and not be judged based on their gender?" And we both said, "Yes." Yes, totally. So, so when your so your contention is that you think that when people are calling uh, Ethan Van Skyver, because that was kind of what brought up this whole thing. I'm not super familiar with him whatsoever. That it's just that he's he's levying sexist jokes. Yeah, all he's that are, doing that is that are just jokes. But and that's, that is, but that's all what he's Adam doing says. is making. And apparently, sexist he doesn't jokes. know about or is playing blind to the look, many other examples look, of things. Look, I've watched okay, well, that's, She-Hulk. Wait, okay, according so that's to She-Hulk, if you don't like the show, you're a sexist. So right, guilty. Okay. I'm guilty as charged. Did She-Hulk say that? When was that? Yeah, said I, on the show? I, I, yeah, Did I missed Disney that. Say that? Did Marvel say that? No, the show. Be good faith, Adam. Can you please? Kevin Feige called me up and he said, "Listen, Sitch. Yes. I don't want Doctor Strange to show up in WandaVision or She-Hulk because he's a white male." Well, what bro, would Doctor Strange even have in WandaVision? Just to be a white male. What do you mean? That would be his role. So there's white males in that show. Vision's in that show. Oh my! We need to. We're closing statements here. Sitch, are there any? Bob, I'm going to assume you're done with your closing statement. Do we have any? I, we, we've gotten a lot from y'all already, so. I don't know why we've got stuck on the sexist label because it's never come up on a show ever. Yeah. Um, well, that, it came well, up with this weird trying context. To what, came up I mean, I feel context. like sexist is just making sexist jokes and stuff. And... Right. See, see, when I heard you say that, I, I assumed this was kind of like I don't mean this in a disparaging way. When Steve Bannon says you should be proud to own the label of fascist you should be proud to own the label of this because the other side is defining these things way too broadly so if they call you that it's almost a term of endearment mm -hmm. but i wasn't sure if that actually was quite what you meant right. i don't think that's a good strategy i'm gonna have to dis i mean i know Steve. Well, I, it's a bad strategy show, with fascists i'm not sure it's a bad strategy with sex i think it's though. a bad well for, it's a bad strategy with sexist because when there are actual people that do believe that women should not have equal rights in society you don't want to be lumped in with those people well i'm not one of those people honestly. i understand but if you say i'm a sexist then you're but look there there is a people. there is a range of sexism obviously okay I, and okay. they're they're gonna yes. judge anyone that you know makes makes a sandwich joke as a sexist okay and but so i am but, going to make that yeah. sandwich joke every single right. time so, so here's what i would say this is like the conversation we i had with vince where i said don't throw away the science because you know people are using it improperly like don't throw away the term because people are using it properly just say no you can make jokes people can make jokes that are have sexist edge to them or racist mm -hmm. edge to them that doesn't necessarily mean that they're sexist or racist mm -hmm. like making a joke doesn't necessarily make you one of the isms Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.